Hi guys, CCG Collector here. Got a little P4 Premiere, the set I'm opening booster packs of today. I don't really have any talking points for this video. I'll just pull open the cards and see what happens. My first talking point will be how hard old booster packs were to open. All right, kick things off with the Tuscan Breath Mask, Nabrin Leads, Luke Luke, Mouse Droid, that's a fun one. Chlor Slug, Radar Scanner, Timer Mine, Old Ben, Yavin 4 Docking Bay, Narrow Escape, Blaster Rifle, Set for Stun, Timer Mine, Ket Melis, and Yavin 4 Docking Bay. Now, Premiere was interesting. It had what I want to call a lot of one off rules, but that's not really true because they were the rules for the sets. Like, um, Mines, I believe they only had timer mines, and you had to deploy them to the same site as your mine droids, and they exploded the next turn no matter what. It wasn't until the Hoth expansion, I believe, that you were allowed to bury mines. I think you still needed a mining droid, but you were able to place cards face down, and if it uh, turned up as... It, it triggered when the opponent moved there, or whatever was the trigger, and if it was... a card that wasn't a mine, it was a dud, whatever, but you fooled them, you made them not move to that site. Hey, C-3PO in mint condition. Absolutely love it. Yep. But you could also bury vehicle mines and infantry mines in addition to timer mines. So Hoth kind of opened that up a little bit. All right, so let's see. Four uncommons, then the rare. There's something else that caught my eye in that pack, but I don't recall what it was. Maybe it was Nabrin Leeds and, come on, Ellis Hellrit? Because those were both um, cards that I believe still see a lot of play in decks. Because the thing about those two cards, those transport cards, which is Nabrin Leeds right here. <clears throat> Is that for a, a random number of force, it might be, you know, it might be zero, it might be seven. You can move any number of characters from any one location to any other location all at once. And that's a remarkable advantage. And it's a used interrupt too, which is also nice. The straining bolt, Soro Sub Land Speeder, Y Wing. Tension Block Corridor. Now this is interesting too because I don't know if capturing rules were implemented until A New Hope, but I do know that until the rules haul overhaul in, all right, Organa Ceremonial Necklace, until the rules overhaul in Cloud City with regard to capturing, when you captured a character, it just automatically went straight to the Detention Block Corridor. There was no um, bounty hunter holding a captive or any of that. It's, okay, you've captured the character, they're in jail. Go find them. And of course there are cards to rescue them, like I'm here to rescue you. And sell three with uh, three, one, two, seven, eight, whatever. Okay, now Electro Binoculars, this was actually a misprint in the Premier Black Border set. Use two force to deploy on any warrior. Anytime you may peek at the top of your card if you're my goodness, I cannot speak today. Two force, one force. The revised one is supposed to be use one force to deploy, use two force to peek. Because obviously the way it's written here is much more powerful. And here's another error card. Owen, Baru, and Luke are all deploy minus one here. The reason that's an error is because Owen deploys for free to the Lars Moisture Farm. Hyper Escape, Stormtrooper Backpack, R4M9, Death Star Trooper, and Navar Yalnal. Okay. And let's crack open this last pack. We already got a C-3PO. R2-D2 didn't come out until the next set, but there are plenty of good cards in here. There we go. Oh, man. That one's beaten up, but what are you going to do? It's an uncommon. Crash Site Memorial. Baru Stew. Ty Advanced X-1. Don't be the beat-up one. Don't be the beat-up one. Good. Blaster Scope. Eh, that one's messed up on the top. Surprise Assault, Hear Me Baby Hold Together, 
It could be worse. I've got a bad feeling about this. Shistaven and Wolfman. I've got a problem here. Ubrickin 9000. Trooper Guard. Stormtrooper. Dead Jawa and Lone Warrior. Not a perfect card, but eh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, this has been the CCG Collector. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you all next time.